Welcome to Outlook Web App 2013. In this video we will go over some of the cosmetic changes that have taken place in this version of the email system. Let's start with the inbox. The most notable change in the inbox is the way in which you navigate to the various areas within the email environment. The mail, calendar, contacts now called people, and tasks navigation have moved from the bottom left of the email screen to the top right of the screen. The new email notification icon can now be found directly to the left of the mail navigation link. The inbox is separated into three main areas. The area in which you select your folder, the area that displays a list of messages contained within a selected folder, and the area that displays the message currently selected. Creating a new email message is as simple as clicking the New Mail button located in the top left corner of the inbox. Here you can add your recipients, insert images or attachments, provide a subject for your email message, and type a message body. Once done, clicking Send sends the email to the recipients provided. An arrow to the left of a folder indicates that there are subfolders below that folder. Clicking the arrow expands the folder to display the subfolders contained within. A new feature of Outlook Web App 2013 allows users to mark a subfolder as a favorite by right-clicking the parent folder and selecting Add to Favorites from the drop-down list. This displays the folder in the Favorites section of the Folder View for faster access. Another wonderful enhancement in Outlook Web App 2013 is the ability to quickly display unread items. Clicking the Unread heading displays only those email items that have not yet been read. As you can see, unread items have a blue indicator to the immediate left of the message. To see all items, simply click the All heading again, and all items are displayed. The default view of email items has also changed. When you first log into Outlook Web App 2013, your email items will be sorted in conversation by date order. This will be familiar to those users who have used Gmail or an iPhone. Conversation View groups all email items with the same subject together, making it easier to see the trail of email items that surround a specific topic. If you do not wish to view your email items in Conversation View, or wish to change the sort order of email items, you can change the default view by clicking the arrow to the right of the current view and select the desired options. To begin reading and responding to email items, select the item to which you wish to respond and it will be displayed in the reading pane. Click Reply, type your response in the message body, and when complete, click Send to send your response.